You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, TikTok, you up to bat. Bah! It's your boy Lay Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water, man. You already know what it is. The kids to be free in 2023. The kids to be free in 2023. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. We back with another reaction, man. We got three disturbing TikTok murder cases that will make you feel sick. I don't know what to expect, but this shit sounds crazy. Let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad. What's popping? Let's get it. Sheesh. The following stories tell the tales of real cases in which TikTok played a role in a murder. Wow. Ali Abu Laban was at one time a TikTok celebrity. He had over 1 million followers and was known for doing pop culture impersonations. Okay. In some of his videos, his wife Anna would join in. The pair appeared to be madly in love and had a cute relationship that others admired. Anna also had her own account on TikTok and she would upload videos to that as well. The pair would dance, play around, and tease each other. The pair also shared a five-year-old daughter. To outsiders okay. looking in, it seemed like they had everything. They lived in a high-rise apartment in San Diego, California. They were beautiful people who were living a beautiful life, or so it appeared. Anna's life in San Diego was much different than the life she had been born into. Okay. She was born in 1993 in Japan to Filipino parents and didn't move to the United States until later in life. She was known for being kind, compassionate, and a loyal friend. Unfortunately, as time went on, trouble began to brew in her relationship with her husband. Ali became more and more possessive of his wife, and what? he even became violent. Ali uh, viewed Anna as a beautiful possession that he couldn't bear to Come on, man. You can't view people as possessions of you. You don't own nobody. That people be losing it, bro. Lose. He went to great lengths to hold control over her. The pair worked hard to conceal their relationship troubles from the public and pretend to be the same happy-go-lucky couple. But Anna's Damn. closest friends picked up on what was going on and became concerned for her. Ali was aggressive, dominant, and talked over people. He also oh. wasn't afraid to boast about his accomplishments and financial success. He seemed to resent her friends and the time that they would spend together. The more her social life grew, the angrier he became. What? He was actually trying to get a divorce at that time when he killed her, one of Anna's friends later recalled. She was actually trying to get a divorce at that time when he killed her. Ali's behavior got scarier and scarier. He felt that his wife partied too much and hated that she would attend social gatherings without him. It was clear that he was becoming more and more unhinged, even Shit. causing his family to not want to be around him. Wow. To make matters worse, he was also engaging in use, something his mm. fans would soon find out about. While filming an Instagram Live one day, Ali was drinking and ended up pulling out a bag of drugs that he would go on to snort while still on camera. At first, his fans- What? My man was snorting drugs? What's up with this dude, bruh? thought that this was just a skit he was doing, but became disturbed when they realized that he wasn't pretending. Oh, the red shit. flags were beginning to add up. The next day, Ali released a weak apology. He claimed that it had been his first time ever engaging in drug use, and that he realized how dangerous it was. He then went on a strange and confusing rant in which he discussed how he didn't like his wife being around other men, and that it made him uncomfortable. Oh, he's insecure. Sounds like it, right? The whole possessive guy, overly possessive, don't want you going places, and he's super insecure in himself. That's what I think. Let's go. In September of 2021, Anna told the police that he had pushed her, causing some minor injuries. She was done with their marriage and wanted to get a restraining order against him. Yeah. On October 18th, she asked her estranged husband to leave the apartment that they shared with their daughter. Ali's behavior became more and more erratic. He began drinking heavily, even posting videos of himself driving while drinking wow. out of a bottle of red wine. He During 
this time, he continued to reach out to Anna, who had refused to pick up his calls. His family begged him to give her some space, but he couldn't be reasoned with. Ali wow. had no plans to leave Anna alone, and he hatched a disturbing plan. When he knew that Anna wasn't home, he snuck back into the apartment and downloaded a special app on his daughter's iPad. Through this app, he would be able to spy on them and know what was going on at the apartment. Yo, this dude was super crazy. What? What? Oh, no. Apartment. Before leaving, he vandalized and trashed the apartment. Wow. Sure enough, while listening in on Anna, Ali heard the sound of a male voice accompanied by her laughing. He became so enraged, he could not think straight, and mm. he automatically assumed that Anna was cheating on him. The man wow. that Anna was with was 29-year-old Rayburn Canedes Baron. Despite Ali's assumptions, Rayburn and Anna were just friends. Ali drove to the apartment in a blind rage and shot Rayburn, Rayburn three, three times, times killing him. Killing he then shot Anna in the head, killing her as well. What? After the horrific murders, he fled the scene and drove to his daughter's school to pick her up. It what? was then that he told the confused little girl that he had hurt mommy. He confessed to his own mother over the phone while driving away from his daughter's school. He was arrested a short while later while his daughter was still in the car. Despite wow. the overwhelming evidence that he committed the gruesome acts, Ali claims that he is innocent and pleaded guilty to the double homicide. It's possible it's possible that if he is convicted, he may face the death penalty. Damn. That's... Bruh, that is super crazy. Anytime you see any type of red flags of possession and people like getting into drug use and not being who they are and trying to be restrictive of you, those are red flags, man. You gotta, you gotta go, man. But they was trying to get... The family was even like, yo, give her some space. Give, he wasn't trying to hit none of that. That's crazy. Kalicia Williams was a stunning 16-year-old girl who loved dancing, filming TikToks, and hanging out with her friends. In December of 2020, she was invited to go to a chaperoned holiday party that would be held at an Airbnb with just a couple of friends from school. Her mother and stepfather felt comfortable with letting their daughter go to the party because she had gone to an event like this once before. They even okay. spoke with the mother who would be chaperoning the event and were told that she would be there the entire time. While Kalicia was on the fence about attending, her stepfather thought it would be a good idea to socialize. Because mm. of the pandemic, she had been cooped up inside the house for months and was unable to see her friends. Kalicia eventually agreed and decided that she would go. However, the party, which took place the day after Christmas, was not like anything Kalicia's parents had been told. Rather than it taking place at an Airbnb, it was at the Hyatt Regency Hotel. At 12.02 a.m. on the night of the party, Kalicia was filming what would end up being her last TikTok. She was in her hotel room performing a dance routine when someone appears to enter her room without what? knocking. Kalicia jumps and appears shocked. She quickly turns off the video. Whoa. Only moments later, can be heard coming from inside of Kalicia's hotel room. But the other party goers were completely unaware of what was going on with their friend. While the details of what followed continued to be partially unclear, it's known that shortly after the gunfire, two males entered the room and found Kalicia laying on the floor covered in blood. They carried Damn. her to the elevator and the authorities were notified. When the paramedics arrived at the scene, Kalicia was not breathing and had no pulse. Damn. She was then transferred to the hospital where doctors tried to save her life, but were unsuccessful. While all of this was going on, Kalicia's parents reached out to the chaperone of the party to check in and see how their daughter was doing, but ultimately were not given the truth about Kalicia's fate until eight hours after her death. What? The parents are of course heartbroken, but also enraged that they trusted this adult Adult to take care of their bro that's what i'm saying you don't trust it you don't talk to the person before she goes to this get together it's not at an airbnb it's at a hotel then when i talk to you about the whereabouts of my daughter and stuff like you don't even keep it 100 with me and i trusted you because we talked before that my kid can go over there and be safe and you fuck yo their daughter, only to be let down. They believe that the individual should be held partially accountable for what happened. The hotel room was in her name, so I feel like she should be held accountable for my That's daughter's real. death as well. April Smith, Kalicia's mother, told reporters. As for the suspect, he is believed to be a juvenile male, but his name has not been released. The male mm. allegedly entered Kalicia's hotel room and a verbal altercation took place. He then fatally 
her before leaving the scene. Wow. He was taken into custody and has been charged not only with felony murder, but unlawful possession of a firearm. Following this tragedy, many people joined Kalicia's parents as they protested outside of the Hyatt Regency Jeez. Hotel demanding justice. They held up photographs of Kalicia and signs asking for answers. What happened after she made that last TikTok video at 12.02 a.m. and she was dead at 12.23 a.m.? I need answers. It was just a lot mm. of foul play and I'm trying to put all the pieces together because I don't feel like the system is doing enough to help me, April Jeez. Smith also said. To this day, Kalicia's loved ones are still fighting to get the answers that they deserve Jeez. as they mourn the loss of a life taken far too soon. <sighs> That's crazy. That's why you got to be careful about letting your kids go to different places and parties. And I know you don't want to be the overbearing parent. And at the same time, you know, being a young kid out there, you want to go out there and explore and be, you know, be social. But you got to be smart about it. Like, you, you, it's hard to trust people nowadays, man. People don't keep their word. Shit, shit pop off like that. And then now you, you, I don't know nothing about what's going on with my daughter till eight hours later. I'm going to have to come see you. Just going to keep it on it. Mahek Bukhari is a 22-year-old TikTok star from Leicestershire, England. She has a relatively large audience with over 120,000 followers and over 3.2 million likes. She filmed videos recreating popular trends as well as makeup and fashion tutorials and videos with her mother and friends. Most of her videos seemed pretty innocent and lighthearted. That is, okay. until she posted one unsettling video on January 3rd, 2022 in which she joked about having to confess to killing someone. She seemed to smile as Shawn Mendes' song, It'll Be Okay, played over the clip. While most of her followers probably thought this was nothing more than a silly TikTok video, it was actually foreshadowing a very dark event to come. In Whoa. February of 2022, Mahek, her mother, and Srin Bukhari, and a 21-year-old woman named Natasha Akhatar were involved in a car chase. They chased two 21-year-old cousins named Mohammed Hashim Ijazuddin and Saqib Hussein and eventually ran them off the road, destroying Damn. their car and taking both of their lives instantly. Two wow. men named Reyes Jamal and Raken Karwan have also been charged in connection with the car chase, but it has not been released what role they played in this horrific tragedy. Mm. The vehicles that were involved in the crash include a silver Sakota Fabia, a gray Audi TT, and a blue seat Leon. While the exact routes the cars took is still being pieced together, it is known that they were traveling at great speeds. Mm. It's unclear what sparked these three women to want to chase down the men. That's However, great. it is known that Mahek has been involved in some tension with other people in the past. Last year, she claimed that she had beef with other influencers and had felt the need to disassociate with them as a result. I would say beef was coming to me last year and I cut off loads of people. Lots of TikTokers actually, which was really good for my mental health as well, Mahek said. Now I'm literally thriving and growing. She also wasn't afraid to engage in risky behavior. In one of her TikToks, a flashy car is seen screeching recklessly through a parking lot, while in another clip, she is seen filming herself while driving. The video was tagged by TikTok with a warning that read, participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt. Damn. After their arrests, Mahek and her mother were brought into court. During this time, the judge asked them if they understood the severity of their charges. Sheesh. They both only said one word, yes. They will face a hearing on March 18th and will likely face trial in September of 2022. Meanwhile, the loved ones of Ija Zudin and Hussein are left to grieve the long lives that mm. were ended far too soon. Sikandar Hayat, Ijuzin's father, said that at the time of the crash, Hussein was going through a hard time and his son was trying to help cheer him up. He had Damn. borrowed his grandfather's car and was using it to take Hussein to see a friend of theirs. Wow. Saqib was very down about things. Hashim loved him a lot and cared for all people in general. He would do anything to help somebody out, Hayat said. Will the fallen TikTok star and her mother spend the rest of their days in prison? Only time will tell. Thank All right, that was three disturbing TikTok murder cases that'll make you feel sick. Y'all gotta let me know in the comments what happened with the last people, because they was talking about 2022, they was gonna go on trial or something like that. Y'all let me know that they actually get convicted of something. But these stories is crazy.
you got to appreciate time, appreciate life, and you got to be very careful when you out here moving around, man. Everybody don't have your best interests at heart. That stuff is crazy. Till next time, man, self-love and positivity fire squad. I got you when you know it. Hey.